Time for an actual good deck. It's good old Reno Warlock. Uh, now even more powerful than ever with Kazakus. Uh, Reno Warlock remains the same general idea. You are using the hero power from the Warlock to get massive value. The Reno Jackson naturally synergizes a lot since you lose a lot of health and then you regain it with Reno. And then in the late game, you're getting massive value with your AoEs, Hellfire, Shadow Flame, now Fellfire Potion, Abyssal Enforcer, Twisting Nether. Uh, two more big AoEs, a little bit more survivability in the early game with Mistress of Mixtures. Unlicensed Apothecary, just a big 3-mana 5-5 five five with some downsides. Blast Crystal Potion, some uh, removal in the late game. Yeah, I'm excited to see, and Cabal Trafficker, if I manage to get that to stick, that's massive value over time. So I'm excited to see how Reno Warlock does. If the meta's a bit slower, I think Reno Warlock does really, really well. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. A nice opening with this deck, the good old 666. Actually, I'll keep that 6. Well, a lot of big stuff here. Gonna do the Mistress Tap next turn. Probably follow up with Refreshment Vendor. Mistress isn't accomplishing much against these two threes. But it does get me back uh, four health. And could help with a Mortal Coil. Demon Wrath also gets her in. You could also choose to ignore this. Ooh, the coil. The idea of not attacking is he could attack the Mistress of Mixtures, in which case I gain two health. I think I'll be able to survive until Rena. And then I have Abyssal Enforcer to clean up a lot of the Shaman stuff. Ah, Jade Spirit. A little bit slower. I want a Tempo Ooze. The only thing to ooze in that deck is usually the 2-2 weapon, which I think is not that good to ooze. And game boss though. We'd be looking to do the Jade Spirit attack imp game boss, uh, Tunnel Trog in the three, into the 1-1, one, one, I think. And then, yeah. It's a lot of damage not on my face, so I can see why you would hesitate. Hellfire. Right now he's got 9 damage. Jade decks usually won't have much burst. I'm thinking of Tap Giant. I would go to 8 damage off lethal. I think I have fell fire potion. So many possibilities. Good card to play before the Reno, so. Well, I just play Reno here. Gaining 16. It's pretty decent. A deck uh, can have the burst with the spell damage. Lightning Bolt and Jade Lightning. That would be 8 damage, plus 4, it's 12. That would be kind of close. Alright. And also 4-6 is good against the 4-4. Four, four. Like, I could picture a easy lethal with him for him there. It would be Jade Lightning, Lightning Bolt, and Flame Tongue Totem. Or a mix of two Lightning Bolts, or even just um, the Jade Claws. But he would only need three cards from his pretty big hand of cards that he probably runs, which he probably doesn't have, um, but which he hasn't played yet and are in his deck. And I just wanted to do the safety dance, in other words. This little enforcer is looking pretty good here. Ah! 
That'd be an interesting play. Tap. Mountain Giant Doomsayer. The idea is that if the Doomsayer goes off... The idea is that the Mountain Giant is fine to remove if somehow everything else goes off the board. Or I could do something less extreme like Doomsayer Dark Peddler. I feel like if we did Mountain Giant Doomsayer and the Doomsayer went off, I would win the game. I'm gonna do that. Good combination of cards. Given the amount of cards in our hands, and that I have a really good proactive play of Cabal Trafficker next turn. I feel like plays evolved to a point where when the start of the game came out, a play like Mountain Giant Doomsayer would be laughed at, but now it's like, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Well, that worked out really well. That worked out way better than expected. I would like to have a way to deal with the mana tide, but no rush, I guess. Oh, Bran Kazakis Dark Peddler. The super value play? I'm not really looking for a super value here. I'd rather get stuff that doesn't die to the lightning storm. Actually, Kazakis, one of for five right now is really good because the AoE is four damage. Uh, this is usually better to be done as five, as it turns out. And they go for the non-greed. Deal forward to all minions, there you have it. It's pretty good. And then draw two cards or add two random demons. Yeah, draw two cards. Pretty good. Thanks, Kazakis. That was exactly the potion I wanted. Uh, plus health would have also been really good. Against the pirate deck, I'm okay to keep unlicensed apothecary. Is that a good general keep? Or is it too slow because it's a 3 drop? And also, pirates uh, have high, low amounts of health, so the 5 attack isn't even that good. Maybe. Demon Wrath is a really good card. Alright, we'll, we'll smash this pirate warrior if it's pirate warrior. Oh, never lucky. I'm not sure it's worth the coin to coin out the 1 1 charge. It depends on his curve. Even Pirate Warrior is running ooze now in order to counter other Pirate Warrior. It only has one card left in his hand. It might want to Acidic Swamp Ooze. It, in theory, stops 4 damage. And it also develops a 2. A 3 2. Kind of a tempo ooze. 
I know it's very tempting to save it for the Arcanite Reaper, but there's a there's always a line to be played between playing for tempo and playing for value. And in this case, playing for value is wrong because I have Reno Jackson in my hand, and all I have to do is survive until turn 6 and then I win. Not to mention, even if he plays the Arcanite Reaper, that would mean that's on 5 mana, so the small time Buccaneer would lose 2 damage and this is losing 1 damage. Normally when you ooze an Arcanite, you're only killing 5 damage. So, in the worst case where he has Arcanite Reaper, I already uh, have cut off 3 damage. Not to mention, this being a 1-2 instead of a 3-2 means I can trade into it without dying. I think I'm actually going to copy Mistress of Mixtures. It's a good one drop in this case. Oh, it's a card. Or I could Shadow Flame. Yeah, it's pretty good though. It's also more hilarious. On the front of value versus tempo. You can tell I'm a good Reno player because I always start with Reno in my hand. Hopefully I survive until turn 6. against a uh, bad patches draw again. Never lucky, Pirates. He clearly doesn't know how to play. Uh, shall I start with Unlicensed Apothecary? Uh, probably Imp Gang. Now, I gotta watch out since the unlicensed apothecary will deal 5 damage each time I summon an imp. So I can't actually play it right now. But eventually, uh, it'll be decent. Or maybe it's just not good in this matchup. Whenever you summon a minion, deal 5 damage to your hero. I wonder which one goes first, I don't know. Like if I were to summon Reno, do I take the 5 damage first? Damage then heal. Well the good news is- oh, and then I would die, right? Here, I'll play that one. Apparently, word is, you die. If you're at like 5 and you play Reno Jackson while you have unlicensed apothecary out on the board. Yeah, good old despair. Alright, in theory, uh, Reno Lock still defeats Priest, because tap is really good. Why don't I add Dirty Rat Savitz had good plays with him? Well, yeah, I mean, I respect Savitz and him hitting... Legend rank 1 is a good indicator that it's a strong card to consider, but the time is new, uh, there's a lot of different directions to go. It could be that Dirty Rat is just a 
What's the word? It's a... It's a fad. Seems good, but... And it might just be because of the meta also. Basically, time will tell. Even if uh, Savit somehow managed to stumble on the best version of Reno Lock, which is doubtful one week into the game, and also he's making a lot of metagame calls, it's fun to experiment in other directions as well. Alright, usually they only run the Dragon Fire Potion, so I can go ahead and play this card too. Trust me. I actually can't even say usually they only run that. Sometimes they run Holy Nova. That'd be pretty good here. It's a pretty good potion of madness. This card is like a must in tomb. So many. It also save it with Shadow Flame. Especially since I have Emperor Thorsen. Emperor Thorsen is a must kill, but he can do that pretty easily with these two. Next turn I can play Mountain Giant no Town. Yeah, either doesn't have Entomb in his hand or something else. Ooh, Faceless Manipulator, Manipulating. 3, 7, 8, and 9. They typically don't have much burst, so I think I can tap Faceless. A Skipperino attack. Excavated Evil is actually decent in this deck. Alright, so it looks like he's not playing a Reno deck. I thought he might have been for a moment. Blast Crystal Potion starts to be good. I can tap. And then that costs two. Two, four, six, nine. I would go down to six. But that's okay, because he would need exactly two Blackwing Corruptors to kill me. I think that's okay. And yet I'd rather not play Unlicensed Apothecary when I'm that low. Maybe Unlicensed Apothecary isn't as good as I thought. Entirely possible. Oh, but I can't play anything else with the Defender of Argus. Eh, I want to I push it. That's so much stats. I can't resist. I wield the power of black. Yeah, look at that valley. Value achieved. Into the breach. I think it's safer to do this. The damage to him doesn't really matter that much. As much as stabilizing does. I probably could have played Kazakus, but Kazakus is also really good with Brand Bronzebeard. Is that too greedy though? It might be. If I plan to get a 5 potion, which I'm going to get, then I can tap first. I'm probably gonna play the 5 this turn. 
Uh, plus four health, decent. This will actually kill me as I learned against the most. Gain seven armor, I like that. Sure. That's a very utilitary spell there. Gain seven armor, give your minions plus four health. Really interesting. Utility spell. Man, Kazakus is so cool. So I can do Abyssal Enforcer in a trade if I want. I can Siphon Soul, but I'd rather save that for you, Sarah. Although I have two hard kills, thanks to Blast Fire Potion. I, I have a lot of AoE. Probably should just Abyssal. Uh, what else can I brand in this deck? I can brand exactly Twilight Jerk. I can brand Abyssal Enforcer. Uh, not sure that's ever good. I'm just gonna aim to play a big card. I also just realized I played my Faceless Manipulator early on. I don't have another double the 10 health. So I guess that's just 10 damage burst. Ooh, Cabal Trafficker. Nice. You can't burst me for 8. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And yet! And yet! And yet we're not gonna take risks when we're winning on this much. Yeah, he could play Ragnaros. Oh, man. The punish. It's alright. That's mostly pointless. Yeah, that's a good Blast Crystal right there. Deck's pretty good. Uh, unlicensed Apothecary. Eh, it, it still deserves more experimentation. 